In today's video, we will guide you on selecting the perfect bed of fish for your next aquarium. I will be giving you the best tips on how to choose better bed of fish throughout this video. By the end, you'll know how to ensure you bring home a healthy and high-quality bed of fish breed. Let's get started. There is no doubt that it is better to choose a bed of fish with great fins, active, and colorful. Healthy bed of fish have vibrant colors, flowing fins, and smooth swimming patterns. Look for bettas with intense and consistent hues throughout their body and fins. It's worth noting that even healthy betta fish can be picky eaters or refuse to eat. So you can test the fish's responsiveness by pointing your finger or mimicking feeding gestures to see if it reacts. Betta fish that respond and are active are good choices. Try placing one other betta next to your betta fish and see if it flares during the test. Bubbles on the surface are also a positive sign of healthy betta. It is often argued that it is just the result of betta fish maturing, but in my opinion, it is at least the sign that the fish is active. Betta fish in pet stores and breeders are typically kept in small jars, separate from other fish. Ensure the jar has fresh and clear water, and the tank is free of debris. Pay attention to any unusual odors when inspecting the betta's tank. A healthy betta's tank should be relatively odor-free. Strong, unpleasant smells may indicate poor health and should be avoided. Which betta fish should I choose for my community tank? When selecting community betta fish, it is advisable to choose less aggressive genetic breeds. Red or blue betta breeds are known for their aggression, so it's generally better to avoid them in community tanks. In my personal experience, breeds like Dumbo ears and white opaque betta fish are compatible with community tanks. These bettas have exhibited a good temperament and not overly aggressive behavior even when placed alongside other betta fish. Where to buy betta fish? When buying betta fish, you have several options. You can find bettas readily available in both dedicated pet stores and large department stores that sell pets. However, it's essential to choose a reputable pet store that specializes in selling animals like betta fish. I personally avoid department stores or large chain pet stores that keep betta fish in unhealthy conditions, which can lead to various health issues. The second option is to find breeders who specialize in producing high-quality betta fish. While it may take a bit longer to obtain a betta from a breeder, the benefits are worth it. Also, buying online is a better option if you're looking for a high-quality betta. Reputable betta breeders often sell and ship fish directly to their owners. However, it's crucial to exercise caution when purchasing online to avoid scams. Look for breeders with a proven track record and extensive experience, as this increases the likelihood of top-quality fish. It is possible for you to import quality betta fish breeds from Asian countries like Thailand or Indonesia if you are willing to spend a little more. But it comes with a shipping fee and you have to wait over a week for your shipping to reach you. But before going to that, let's first discuss the betta fish that you must avoid. Fins of the betta fish. Betta fish that are sick are the first thing to check while buying them. Unfortunately, pet stores often treat betta fish in tiny jars. Any damages to the fins, clamped fins, discoloration, or ragged edges are signs of sick or stressed fish, so avoid them. Clamped fins look like the betta pulls its fins closer to its body. Betta fish with clamped fins can be sick and stressed due to pet store conditions. Swimming abnormally is also a sign of injury or sickness. Avoid betta fish with ragged or damaged fins, as this could be the result of fin rot, fin nipping. Do I recommend rescuing the betta fish? This video talks only about picking quality betta fish for your aquarium. If you choose to rescue a betta fish, none of the guidelines in this video apply to you. In such a case, you should follow your heart and choose the betta fish that you feel a connection to and want to give the best possible care. Rescuing a betta fish often means providing them with a second chance at a happy and healthy life. So trusting your instincts and follow your heart. Before we move forward, we observed that only 7% of our regular viewers have subscribed to our channel so far. If you are not yet subscribed, don't forget to join our family by clicking the subscribe button. Also, make sure to hit the bell icon to not miss future content. Eye color. The eyes of a betta fish can tell you a lot about their overall health and well-being. It's important to choose a betta fish with clear and bright eyes. If you notice that the betta fish has cloudy eyes, it may be an indication of poor health. 
Cloudiness can be caused by various factors such as bacterial, fungal, or parasite infections. Another concerning sign is if the betta fish has diamond or white eyes. White betta fish have cloudy white eyes, which is a genetic defect. Also, dragon scale betta fish may have diamond eyes, which are just overgrowths of dragon scale around their eyes. This impacts their eyesight and go blind. Bulging eyes, often called pop eyes, can be a symptom of an underlying infection or injury. Pop eye is a health condition that affects all fish, including betta fish. It can be identified by bulging your fish's eyes. Eye swelling is caused by a buildup of fluid or infection in the eye socket. It's important to choose a betta fish with proportionate eyes and no abnormal swollen or bulging. Size and age. Betta fish are fully grown at four months. Generally, betta fish live three to five years in a healthy aquarium, so finding the right age for betta fish is essential when buying. If you buy older betta fish, it will affect the period that minimize the betta fish time that living with you. Moreover, small size bettas may have a genetic problem or be less than four months old, which are better avoided because they need to be cared for differently. If you want to know the exact age of your betta fish, there is a video on the channel already. Please check it out. Lethargic behavior. Inactive and lethargic betta fish are usually a signs of stress or sickness. Choosing a lethargic betta fish increases the risk of bringing home a fish that may require immediate medical attention or have a shorter lifespan. Keep an eye out for horizontal running racing stripes on the betta's body. These lines are signs of a stressed betta. Stress stripes go away once the fish is brought home and living in a quality aquarium. It's better to avoid them if they are stressed because they need additional care to return to normal. Genetic Disorders In my opinion, it is advisable to avoid certain betta fish genetics such as glow betta fish, bullet betta, and dragon scale. Glow betta fish are known for their vibrant and glowing colors, which are visually appealing. But they are often associated with poor health and shorter lifespans. Genetic variations may make them more susceptible to diseases and health complications. Bullet betta fish have gained popularity for their unique head shape and spine position. Genetic variation can lead to undesirable traits, including irregular head shapes and misaligned spines. These physical characteristics can affect fish's overall well-being and quality of life. Dragon scale betta fish are fascinating, but scale overgrowth around the eyes is problematic. This excessive scale growth can obstruct the betta fish's vision, potentially leading to blindness. Inspect the betta body. Bloating and constipation can cause a round belly in betta fish. If the betta swims tilted to one side or has difficulty swimming, it may have a swim bladder problem. Small white dots on the body could indicate itch, while a dusty gold mist may indicate velvet disease. These are symptoms of parasite infections. Other symptoms of illness or injury include hiding in corners or swimming irregularly. Any lumps on the body could be related to betta fish cancer and should be avoided. Now that we've covered the things to avoid, let's focus on the positive aspects to consider when choosing your ideal betta fish. There is no doubt that it is better to choose a betta fish with great fins, active, and colorful. Healthy betta fish have vibrant colors, flowing fins, and smooth swimming patterns. Look for bettas with intense and consistent hues throughout their body and fins. Purpose of this channel is to spread awareness about keeping betta fish happy and healthy around the world. If you found this video useful and feel it may be helpful for others, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload new videos. It will great help and support this channel so I can keep making more content for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.